the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. Bodies. Male and female. Early 30s. Executed. I see them. Bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Looks like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing, if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's... ...doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else.
47. That computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Nicely done, 47. Getting caught on tape is the last thing we need. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. His Reynard cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer ma maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade. Possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. The client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh. I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know.
Nice. I suppose Alma has one hell of an expense account. How much did the boss look from that cross guy? Was it three billion? Something like that. But actually, this is Alma's old safe house from her Bonnie and Clyde days with Sean Rose. Uh, I guess left wing terrorism pays better than you think. Yeah, that or she shot the owner. Still, I've got to say, this is a swanky place to lay low. It's got a house AI, a voice control, and everything. Kick ass security system, too. Of course, you can never get an Alma with that. Apparently, he's so big, the sensors treat him as an intruder. Why not just lock him in the garage? Orson tried that. Well, Max ate the tires on his SUV in half of it. Sedate him and poop him. We're gone. Like clockwork. Nice. Where'd you stash them? Old barn. About 20 miles. about me. When am I what? You know what I mean. Welcome home, Alma. And guest. I'm staying here too, you know. The least you can do is teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, uh, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right. You and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay. I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Mm, ba -ni. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what? I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, um, uh... Target down. 
Well done, 47. Now get off the property. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution.
Hmm. No way to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. <laughs> 